What is up, my friend? Jacob here with another video to help you record better, mix better, and work better. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very special, very useful plugin by Waves called Waves In Phase. Now, I use this plugin on a regular to double check the phase relationship between two microphones on the same source, maybe two acoustic guitar mics or two overhead microphones on a drum kit or a bass DI and a bass amp signal. Altogether, very handy plugin to check that phase relationship because we all know that if something is even just a little bit out of phase, you can lose a lot of definition, a lot of low end, and just a lot of sound in general. So waves in phase, let's jump into it. So before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about something very, very special. If you're just getting started in audio, I have written up a gear guide, what you need and how much it costs to start recording records in your studio. Go check that out. Again, it's absolutely free. Go to www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash gear guide. Go pick that up again. It's absolutely free. Let's jump into the video. So I got this session here. I have two acoustic guitar tracks soloed. Now, these two tracks are actually the same guitar part, the same guitar take. I just recorded it with two separate microphones. One is a tube condenser, U67, and the other is a ribbon mic, a Coles 4038. I know I recorded this really well, and I know the phase is almost perfect because I had both capsules one next to the other as close as humanly possible. And when you do that, it eliminates a lot of the phase problems you're gonna have because your capsules are so close together on that same source. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna solo these two tracks and we're gonna play them together. And this is normally as they're recorded, no phase flipping, no anything. So nice sounding acoustic guitar, right? Sounds good. If I go here and I flip the phase, listen to what happens. So that's almost perfectly out of phase. Let's put both of these tracks in mono. The sound almost disappears, right? So you can tell already with that test, I know my phase is near perfect because when I flip the phase from one signal to the other, the sound almost goes away entirely. So I do have a good phase. Now let's say I purposely move one of these acoustic guitar tracks a little off just to give you an example of what it could sound like if it's a bit out of phase. Let's say I nudge it over just a smidge, maybe just like 30 samples, right? And you can see even visually before nudging that the phase relationship is pretty good. You can see these waveforms, these peaks and valleys are almost lined up. They're not quite perfect, but they're very, very close. Let's say I take this one and I nudge it over just a little bit. Now my signal is gonna be less in phase than it was before. Let's hear that. Still sounds fine, but... Right? Now, we're gonna go look at how you use Waves in phase. Now, let's put both these tracks down the middle and let's go open up Waves in phase. Now, when you open up in phase, if you're using this on a mono track, automatically it's gonna have one channel be channel A and the other channel be sidechain because it's not a stereo input. If you use this plugin on a stereo channel, it's automatically gonna give you channel A and channel B, the left and right sides. And you can check the phase between the left and right on that stereo channel. In this case, I have two different mono channels. So I have to put one instance of in phase on one of the channels and bus the output of the second channel into the sidechain input. Still following? Let me demonstrate how I do that. So on the instance that I added here on the tube condenser mic channel, I'm gonna flip this input over here, this little sidechain input to bus eight, let's say, bus eight. I like eight, one of my favorite numbers. Let's go now on the second channel, which is right next to it, right here. We're gonna add a send to bus eight. And we're gonna put that send exactly at zero. And so what this is doing is it's taking that second channel, the ribbon mic, it's sending that exact same sound into the sidechain input of my in-phase plugin. And all you have to do now is hit capture and play. And so now it's analyzed just those couple bars of music. And you can see here, you can zoom in, and it's already telling me, hey, your signal on the bottom here when it's leaning to the right side, it means your correlation of phase is good. It means it's positive. If it's leaning to the left in the yellow, it's bad. That means you're out of phase. Now watch what happens when I take this channel A 
and I move it around. See how that correlation bar moves? Now I'm basically adding a sample delay to this one channel to shift it in time and put it in phase or out of phase with the second channel. And the more I move it, the more it does a full cycle of phase. Now, safe to assume if I move it more than four or five milliseconds, you're gonna get never a very good phase because it's completely different at that point, right? So let me put it back to zero, reset. And let me move it to a point where it's the best possible phase. Look at this. That's really, really good. You can see as I continue pushing it forward, it leaves this little blue marker here. And this is actually just the plugin telling me, hey, at this moment, it was the best possible phase you could have. So the more I move it, that little blue thing is not changing. And if I go back to zero, you see it's not even close to being as in phase as it was over here. And that's it, so now I added 0.67 milliseconds of delay to this first channel, this tube condenser channel, to put it almost exactly in phase with that ribbon mic. Let's listen to it. Now let's say I flip the phase of that first channel. The sound is <laughs> almost gone. So this is the perfect example to show you that I have literally near perfect phase with these two microphones on the same source. Now let's demonstrate that same technique but on drums. So I have some drum tracks here. Let's solo these and take a listen. That's cool. Nice sounding drums, right? Let's listen to one of these stereo mics. For example, the overheads. Overheads are almost the trickiest to get good phase relationships. And you can see now, if I zoom into this stereo overhead track, you can see my phase is almost near perfect on those two overheads. So let's do a little double check with the in-phase plugin, this time on a stereo channel. So add in-phase stereo, and you'll notice here it has channel A and channel B. That's the left channel, the right channel. Because it's a stereo track, it's not gonna be looking for sidechain input. You could still, in theory, change this to be a sidechain input that will make your in-phase plugin look for sidechain input. Let's say I wanted to check the phase relationship between my kick drum and my overhead microphones. You can actually do this using the sidechain function by flipping it, as you saw here, flipping it from channel one and channel two. You can see under the process here, process A, channel one, process B, channel two. If I click here, it'll switch process A to one and two, which is the left and right channels that we have here in the overheads, and channel B as the sidechain input. I go to my kick drum, I add bus, number whatever, and sidechain input into this plugin, and that'll allow me to check the phase relationship between my kick drum and my overheads, which is always cool, very practical. Now let's go back so I can demonstrate the left and right processing of the stereo track. Let's hit capture again, play. So you can see that phase is positive, it's good phase, but it's probably not the best it could be. So let's go to this channel one here, channel A, and let's play around with this and see how good we can get this phase. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get, to be honest. If I do a little bit of a move, minus 18, minus 47, I get better phase, but we're talking by millimeters. So maybe not necessary on these overheads because my recording was proper and in phase. But if ever you have any doubts and you're listening to a signal, whether it's a mono signal or a stereo signal, with two or more microphones on the same instrument, it's always worth checking the phase. Try flipping the phase from left to right to see if the sound gets better or disappears. If ever you have more doubts, you could use the in-phase plugin from Waves. So that's it, very short video demonstrating the in-phase plugin by Waves. Again, this is a great plugin to have in your toolbox when you need to double check the phase relationship between different instruments, different microphones. Altogether, very powerful tool. Thank you for sticking around, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know which tools or techniques do you use to check your phase between instruments. Let us know down below. Don't forget to pick up that gear guide and I will see you next week. Peace.